Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So I'm often asked on the channel, who should start taking NMN and then what age should they start to take it? In this video, I'm gonna cover who we know takes NMN and also whether or not you fall into one of the three or four categories of people who could consider taking NMN as a daily supplement to boost their dwindling NAD levels. Enough waffling off me, let's get into it. The compound nicotinamide mononucleotide, or NMN for short, has gained considerable notoriety in recent years due to its potential health benefits related to aging and cellular function. NMN is a precursor to NAD, that's nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, a molecule that plays crucial roles in various biological processes, including energy production and the essential DNA repair. Naturally declining NAD levels during aging have been associated with many age-related issues. These include failing organ function and numerous metabolic problems. However, restoring NAD with NMN or another NAD booster can alleviate these issues. So some people, including myself, have started taking NMN on a daily basis to try and capitalize on the prospect of age prevention by increasing our dwindling NAD levels. People who could seriously look into taking NMN include those who have a proactive interest in both health and longevity. Although NMN isn't a proven anti-aging remedy in humans, evidence from rodents and some clinical trials suggest it may benefit a wide swath of people who could be interested in taking it. Its efficacy as an anti-aging molecule in humans is almost impossible to test. It would take human generations, that's plural, to conduct any meaningful clinical studies. People who take NMN are typically health enthusiasts age 35 or older, as this is the age at which NAD levels start to seriously fall, and when most researchers recommend you should look into start taking it as a daily supplement. A graph from Masoudi et al. 2012 shows human NAD levels fall as people age. Males showing tapering NAD levels with age, shown by a red line, and this includes after puberty, which is shown by a blue line. Health enthusiasts are typically proactive about their health and their well-being, and may be more inclined to try supplements like NMN as part of their overall wellness regimen. This shouldn't be a surprise. For longevity, you should be following a regular fitness regimen before you start to consider targeted supplementation. For these people, taking NMN increases blood NAD levels and may help maintain essential organ function. If they haven't already done so, another group of people who may want to start taking NMN is people over the age of 65. This group includes adults who are concerned with the way that aging is affecting their bodies. These people may want to explore using NMN as a way to potentially intervene against aging for health and vitality maintenance. Restoring NAD levels with NMN may help this group of people ward off age-related diseases, frailty, and also organ decline. A third group of people who may consider NMN is a group we could call fitness buffs. These are people who may be drawn to taking NMN based on its benefits at improving endurance, muscle function, and muscle recovery. NMN is already included in some supplement regimens taken by people who just want to improve their physical fitness. As an aside, I noticed a considerable increase in my strength, my endurance, and my recovery when I upped my daily dose from one gram to 1.5 grams a day. People like yourselves who follow the latest aging research trends may choose to supplement with NMN. Scientists like Harvard professor David Sinclair and doctors Rhonda Patrick and Andrew Huberman have given NMN publicity for its ability to extend health span. Health span being the number of productive years that we can live without succumbing to age related diseases. Some healthcare and wellness professionals may choose to recommend NMN to their clients or their patients based on their specific health goals and or their needs. For example, 
Research suggests that NMN supplementation improves insulin sensitivity in overweight adults with prediabetes. So, recommending NMN for aged individuals with specific conditions like being overweight or having prediabetes may improve their metabolic function and their overall health. People with addiction mood related complications may also benefit from NMN, even if they're not aged or overweight. Studies exist showing increasing NAD with infusions alleviates cravings from addiction along with anxiety and also depression. However, more studies are needed to confirm this potential benefit for taking NMN. And if you are considering it for this reason, you really should consult with a medical professional first. In 2022, on an episode of The Kardashians, Hayley Bieber and Kendall Jenner had an NAD IV drip party where they received intravenous NAD infusions. Their names now join the growing list of celebrities who use ways to increase NAD. That said, whether they take an NAD precursor also, like Andrew Huberman, remains unknown. Along the same lines, Joe Rogan said in one of his shows that he undergoes NAD IV drip therapy once a week. On another Joe Rogan podcast, Neuroscientist Andrew Huberman stated he uses NMN after following Harvard professor David Sinclair's NMN research. Those taking NMN may also then be more inclined to proactively maintain their health through a balanced diet, quality sleep, regular exercise, etc. in an attempt to slow the aging process. Others may try to find out what Joe Rogan, Andrew Huberman and David Sinclair have actually been talking about. So if you wanted to try NMN, there are many companies that will sell you NMN. The big three, as they have now come to be known, are definitely reputable. A sign of reputability is third party testing for purity and heavy metals. All three companies have their NMN third party tested and the date of recording this, not posting it, Renew by Science display a purity level of greater than 99%. Do not age show a purity level of 99.8% and Pro Health Longevity show a score of 99.9%. So really not too much in it. All three companies also test for and show their heavy metal scores. And these much like the purity scores are very close with regard to their results. If you do opt for one of these three companies, you can get a 10 to 15% discount by using the code MYNMN at checkout. And there are links in the description below to these particular companies. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. So I take NMN to raise my NAD levels. Uh, it's definitely improved my strength, my endurance and my recovery. I would say my standards are back with regard to the gym work and also my rucking runs in the morning to what they were in my late 30s and my early 40s. Bear in mind, I'm now in my late 50s. I'm 60 next year. Also, let me know in the comments below if you would. Do you take NMN and also what dose do you take? Uh, I've seen a couple of videos lately talking about studies in NMN and highlighting in particular the short studies where people only took 125 or 250 milligrams a day. Most people that see benefits are on 500 or more. One gram a day is generally the, the dose that people take. I'm on 1.5 grams a day and I'm seeing good results. There's one person on the channel who comments, he's taken over two grams a day and he says the results are out of this world. And remember what Andrew Huberman says about taking NMN or any supplement for that matter when it comes to aging. Just to take a step back, I know a lot of people out there, are like if there isn't a double blind placebo controlled trial, you know, random, random trial, then why would you ever take something? And then there are a lot of people like David or me or a lot of people out there who think, well, if there are some mouse data or something safe, why wouldn't I try, right? Because when it comes to longevity, nobody wants to be in the control group. 